I'm one of the uh, two uh, founding artistic directors of Tasty Monster Productions. Uh, we are performing our show Ferdinand, which is an uh, anti-bullying story inspired by the story of Ferdinand the Bull, uh, which was uh, actually my wife who wrote the play and directed it. It was her favourite children's book and also one of my favourite children's books um, about a bull who doesn't want to fight. He likes to just sit in his field and smell his flowers and... Um, you know, we, we re-envisaged the story a little bit um, and made it uh, a, a unique original piece, which is about a single dad who is bringing up his son, Ferdinand, uh, to be empathetic and artistic and creative uh, in a world that sort of pushes him in all the wrong directions. Uh, it definitely has a lot of anti-bullying themes um, with, with childhood, but it's also about... Um, bereavement and um, growing up and being a single parent um, and dealing with a lot of those issues and how do you not become a pariah and how do you make those things work in a positive way uh, rather than in a destructive way um, and a sort of non-violent way. Uh, it's actually something that we really feel very strongly about and you know even when I was growing up I had experience of being bullied and and it was one of those things that we um, always wanted to be able to kind of confront and address in a very positive way rather than a kind of let's get on our soapbox and, and rant for 10 minutes or whatever kind of a way. I don't feel that necessarily sometimes the lecturing uh, route is necessarily very useful or productive or creative uh, or constructive. You know, One of the things I like to think our show does is give people a kind of manageable scenario where they can really see themselves in the story and say, oh, if this thing happened to me, now I have some ideas of how to deal with it in a constructive way rather than just letting it, you know, destroy me or eat away at me um, and, you know, other things of that nature. Uh, our company is just the two of us, so it's sort of interesting finding those subjects that we can really latch on to. Um, and we've been able, actually, with this story, we, we just performed it at Edinburgh Fringe um, uh, back in August, and we had some really great feedback um, from people, you know, teachers and parents who said, you know, this is, this is really something that we can associate with, that we can really kind of latch onto and say, you know, I know what that is, um, even though they haven't had the particular experiences that Tom, who's the dad, uh, experiences within the story. Um, I think everybody has experienced bereavement at some point. You know, probably a lot of people, especially these days, has experienced bullying in some respect. Um, and a lot of the work that Tasty Monster Productions, our company, had, does, I would say, is trying to put a different eye or a different viewpoint on subjects that are universal and stories that are universal um, to make them more accessible uh, to people who wouldn't necessarily think that, for instance, theatre is something for them. Um, and we really try to reach out to those new audiences uh, with new writers, you know, young performers sometimes, uh, new directors, um, to bring them together in a very kind of collaborative way to create these pieces. Um, and through music as well, and we use you know music in the show to stim stimulate certain uh, emotional uh, elements and also um, underlie different scenes, for instance. Um, and this story, I think, is is very universal. You know that idea that even with adults, sometimes we might have a very demanding boss, for instance, or you know we might have a workplace that's very demanding. And where do you draw the line between being demanding? and just being bullied, um, you know, and that's something that actually we address in the show. So, uh, you know, you can make your own choice, I guess, after you've seen that. Um, but also, how do you deal with those things and move on from them? Um, and the idea that you shouldn't necessarily judge a book by its cover, because perhaps the person who is the bully, maybe they have some reasons or some own some of their own agenda or some of their own issues that they are trying to deal with that you don't know about. It's, um, it's kind of like that quote that you sometimes see um, you know, online or on the social media. Uh, you know, be kind always because everybody is fighting a fight that you don't know about. 
Um, and, and I think that's really one of those things about this show is kind of casting a light on some of those issues that people don't want to talk about because they're hard. You know, people don't like admitting they have faults or that they're not good at everything or that they're being bullied or that they somehow uh, because, you know, can't defend themselves or they feel weak or unable to deal with a situation by themselves and yet they don't want to talk about it for some kind of reason. Maybe they think that people will judge them. And actually what we're saying is, you know, you're not alone. There are people out there all the time who are dealing with these things. And actually if we came together and worked in a kind of collaborative and supportive way in a sort of family of peers, we could deal with these situations so much easier and in so much more of a positive way um, and with less agenda, you know? It's just enjoy our life and move on and do fun stuff. Like, let's do the things that we love rather than the things that just kind of, you know, we feel we have to do all the time. So, I mean, I suppose that's the kind of, uh, in a nutshell, the idea of where the show came from. Um, it's been a very collaborative process all in all. We've, you know, we did a couple of workshops of the show um, when we first started writing it, or uh, Heather is the, you know, the main playwright, but we've sort of collaborated it, on it. Um, we've taken into account feedback that we've had, like I said, from teachers, parents, um, social workers, psychologists, all sorts of people who have kind of seen the show and, and talked to us about it, and also our own experiences, of course. Um, you know, Heather has a, a great uh, background in education and working with children um, in, in the arts. And so we were able to kind of put all of those elements into this little package, you know, and hopefully, hopefully what will come out of it is something that's really eye-opening and challenging and interesting, but also not something that's kind of beating you over the head with a, you know, a placard saying, you must learn this. Um, what we really would love for the audience to do after this show is, you know, go away and sit down at their kitchen table or in their lounge or whatever and start new conversations with their kids and see where that goes for them because everybody's different. Um, and I think if we can spark those conversations, if we can kind of create new ideas in their heads, that's really, you know, the first step in a much longer journey. Mm -hmm.